hear the crowd scream my name and I love it. You gon' look around and you still won't see me coming. Used to see clouds, now the sky's sunny and before I'm all allowed, I'm a fan star study. I hustled as a child, went from nothing to something. I've seen I was running in love with the money. What's up YouTube? It's your girl Lady Scorpio and I'm back again with another video. Um, as you can tell by the title, this is gonna be like a little game night. It's a game play for future investors. Some other people are coming over, they'll be, they'll be filming too, they're YouTubers too. It's supposed to be at 1.30, but you know, I'ma get there a little. I'ma get there at a little later time. Cause it is 30 minutes away and yeah, traffic is booming right now. So I'll be sure to get back with y'all once I get to the place. Income, you find income, and then put the amount of the income where it says salary. So all you're doing is copying the same numbers into the same space on the paper. But not these. Not the zeros, right? Trading range, five dollars up to forty dollars. Five dollars up to forty. So now we're in the middle of the price range. Do we want to buy any at twenty dollars? We're in the middle of the peak. The peak. I told you. I know there's a card for forty. But do you want to buy at 20? No, we don't. Well, see, I'm going to be honest. Me, when stuff like that pops up and it, nobody else has anything, I might buy $200. It'll give me 10 shares. So if it does go to 30, I made an extra 100. Or if it go to 40, I double my money, even though it's in the middle. So it's still potential yeah, in the middle. profit. But, but then another card come up where it's buying for, you can buy for five. You can always buy more. You so, just, so the theory that he's applying is what we call dollar cost averaging. Over time, he bought some at 20, bought some at five, so it brings the average cost of that stock down. He has more expendable cash, right? He is the doctor, he makes the most money. So he got expendable cash. You are the janitor. So $20 a share in real life, that's a lot. Like, do I really wanna do that? If I can only make a little bit, I don't know. Would I advise you to spend $20 a share? No, but his strategy is right. Because I know there's a card in there for 40. But even if I sold at 30, I still made $10. It ain't bad, right? <laughs> it ain't bad. <laughs> Just think about it. But don't think too long because we do have to go to the next player. All right. Get your roll, sir. Paycheck. Paycheck. So while we're in the rat race, you must say, pay me, or the bank won't pay you. It's just like real life. If you don't ask for your money, you're not going to get your money. When you get out here, you can pass paychecks all along, and you may not say a word, but when you say pay me, I got to pay you for every one that you pay. Because in, in the fast track, your money normally gets direct deposited to your account. You don't have to think about it. Plus, you're so wealthy, people want to give you your money because they want to stay in good terms. In the rat race, we out here to cheat you. We out here to get you. So if you don't ask for your paycheck, <laughs> oh well. All right, so what I didn't explain was the rest of the sheet, and I was going to do it as we go. So we're almost at that point. These are expenses. We already talked about the income. So the expenses are things that cost you money, right? Taxes, can't avoid taxes. Your house mortgage, this game automatically puts you in a house. So everybody in here is in the house. Great because that's the right way in the American way. So everybody should be a homeowner. The next thing is a school loan payment, the car payment, credit cards, retail, other expenses you can't get rid of. That's like water, lights, life insurance. Those are things that you can't change that we should automatically have. Okay, Tim. I got, one, two, I got three bands, see. Sister-in-law borrows money. That's so dead. I ain't like. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> no, finish reading it. But this is real, y'all. Finish reading it. 
Sister-in-law is downsized. Need five thousand dollars of pay. What to make house payments? She promises to pay you back ten k after she finds a new job. Use it yourself or sell to another player. ROI? Question mark? Question mark? Because there's no guarantee. You know how that be. Family think they can get down on you. <laughs> Cost five thousand. Down payment five thousand. Liability zero. Cash flow zero. I ain't doing it. I ain't gonna count it. You right, I ain't doing it either, but you could get your whole free five band. If that pops up, but of my time playing this game, I've never seen anybody give anybody 5K just because of cards. They, and I've never seen it pull up. Like, I don't even know where you get that opportunity back. In the market? She gonna come back in the market? Like, Yeah, you right there, bro. I just can't. Just can't like, bro, you're nah. a doctor, bro. I see who's not there. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that's real talk, though. How many of y'all have lent money to a family... Or friend and never got it back. I'm still waiting on the right now. And they always come at a time when you really need your money too. I'm sorry, I can't today or tomorrow. I have work that I have to do. I'm sorry. But let me hold I can't today or tomorrow. I have work that I have to do. You can't let me hold no money? No, nah, I'm sorry. I can't today or tomorrow. I have work that I have to do. It's a terrible thing to say, but it's such a truth. Yeah. It's her wrong. He didn't roll oh, yet. Yeah. I did. I did. Oh, yeah. That's Take that money and pay off that expense. So then every time I go buy a paycheck, my rent, my monthly check goes up. All right? That's the only way to do it. Hey, I think they were awesome dad. So, behind me, I look back on, I see it. You look at Oh,